Well, hey, y'all. Well, I got to go back on the road tomorrow. <coughs> and I have decided I want to ferment me up some peppers. Make me some hot sauce. So I've got these here peppers. They have been washed. Now these are just red chili pepper. Ain't nothing special about them. They ain't got much heat, if any at all. Whatever I don't get to use, I'll freeze and I'll dehydrate later. And we're going to be using two quart mason jars, wide mouth, that have been sterile, washed and sterilized. Then I got these new dipty things for Christmas from my daughter that hold, if you can tell, they kind of scrunch up so you hold everything down under the brine. And then they come with these lids. Now these have also been sterilized and whoa, almost knocked y'all over. That would not have been good. All right, so. Let me move this camera out of the way. Just a tad bit. And I'll get in here and show you how I'm doing this. Now I do have a third mason jar. And this here mason jar is what I'm going to be doing my weights with. So, I got to tear this all out, but I'll do that after I get through cutting up some pepper. And all I'm going to do is chop the ends off. That's it. There's no de-seeding them, no making them happen, no making them into slices or rings or anything else. You can if you want. I don't want. So here we go. And I don't know what kind of pepper this is, and I don't know what kind of heat it's got. So, what about we stop right here, and I'm going to take me a little bite. Just a tad bit. Got a little bit of heat to them. Not a whole lot. Tastes like a mix between a sweet pepper and a maybe I don't know a habanero or not a habanero but a jalapeno not a whole lot of heat and I say that and I know somebody out there is going to say I can't believe you ate that without no drinking of water well believe what you want after eating a couple of ghost peppers or pieces of a ghost pepper I should say and having that stupid chip that's going around the one that's got the uh, Trinidad scorpion chocolate scorpion in it Woo! these ain't these ain't even close so that won me 10 bucks doing that and I didn't want to tell the guy then but I go ahead and I tell you now y'all I hurt that one hurt me ain't even gonna lie about it wish I could but I ain't going. But I did eat the whole damn thing. And won me a $10 bet. I know $10 ain't a whole lot of money. But it's the principle of the thing. Y'all get it? Alright. So how y'all doing on this Sunday night? I had a friend of mine. Won't I guess I'll mention his first name less. He lost his daddy today. Unless I don't, I don't know what you're going through, man. I, I, I really don't, because I have not lost my daddy. I almost lost him, but we ain't lost him yet. So, Wes, I want you to know you're in my thoughts. You know what? You know why I stand on, on religion. And you being a Baptist preacher, I respect the fact that you do not push that on me. But Les, I will be thinking about you, keeping you and your family in my in my thoughts, and hopefully, as time goes by, it may not hurt any less, but maybe it gets just a tad bit easier for you. All right, so this is where we're going to have to tear out the weight, because I'm going to add some other things to this here. So. 
and I didn't get them all done. I've still got a little bit over here in this bag. Taking this one right here, we're going to start up our handy dandy scale. Now, I like this scale because I can do grams on it. And I don't know whether y'all can see that or not. There you go. So let me tear this out. Get it down to zero. So we're going to just drop these in here like this. And it doesn't really matter how many peppers you put in there. And you know what? We're going to call that enough. That's 136 grams. Let me make sure I didn't mess up the tear on that. Okay. We didn't mess up the tear. That's 136 grams. 136 grams. Now, I don't know how many of y'all have ever had a good hot sauce. A good hot sauce is pepper sauce, whatever you want to call it, always has a little garlic in them. You're going to put garlic in them in the beginning, and you're going to put garlic in them in the end. That's just the way it is. So we're going to put some garlic up in here. Now, I ain't going to cut on these old counters. They're going to get replaced in the next couple of months. But I'm just going to smush them down a little bit. Just break that skin the way my granny taught me. Y'all have noticed I love my granny. I think everybody loves their grandparents. Probably more so than my own parents at times. And there, we're going to put in one clove. Y'all, what I tell you, if, I ain't, if I'm in the kitchen, I'm making a mess. That's the way it goes. The way I roll. We're going to put in two gloves. I've got me some bed and software I bought that be here pretty soon. I'm taking a class on how to edit video. I want these to, you know, I'm not trying to be like Miss Sutton or Paul up there at um, Paul's pantry, whatever it's called, I forget. But anyway, I just want to make some better videos so y'all can enjoy it. Also going to be getting me a haircut. Somebody mentioned in the group that I was a little shaggy. You know what? I agree with you. So we're at 144 grams. And we're going to put one little spoonful of pineapple up in here. All right. We're at 220 grams. Let's see if we can get that down to 220. Oh. Let's see if we can get down to 220. No. There you go. Get up out of there. 218. 222. I'm going to take out this one. 220. All right. Now, why did I do that? Because I got to make a brine at 2%. If this is going to be 220 grams, I take my 220 grams. Hang on a minute, y'all. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I had to go do some math. I didn't have enough toes or fingers or body parts. So 2% of 220 is 4.4 grams of salt. Now we're going to put this over to the side and bring our next jar over. We got zero grams here. So let's get us some salt. We need 4.4 grams. And it's been so long since I've got table salt. You know what, I'm not gonna use that. So I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna get me some kosher salt. Well, I said we we're gonna go with 4.4 grams of salt, but we ain't. We are gonna go with six. We got four grams there now. And I'm going to predict that's going to put me close to six. There you go. Six grams is within the allowable limit. So we're going to put that in this mason jar right here. I'm going to pour this, this salt right there. 
Y'all, we don't keep much table salt. We really don't. So I'm gonna fill this up with, with water. We're gonna put it in that brine right there. Oh. And it's, it's colder than a witch's. Never reasons around here. And uh, I don't know about y'all, but I'm tired of winter already. You done got on my nerves. Go to do something this weekend and all it ended up doing was snow and rice. And I couldn't get nothing done. I've got to hit the road tomorrow. So what we're going to do right here is that we're going to just pour that in that other mesa jar. That's it. To about right there. And you see how that just rose up? Now, supposedly, we put that on there, and we put the lid on it, and it keep everything below that water level. And there's a self burping. So, there you go. What y'all think about all that? Huh? What y'all think about that? Put it back here to slide. So let's do another one, shall we? Get on there tight. And alrighty. We're gonna take this salt off. We're gonna set this back back up. That's the wrong one. We're gonna set this one right here up. We're gonna carry it to zero. Let's put the rest of these peppers in. All right, that's 156. We're gonna do the same thing with these as we did with the others about the garlic. So, let me do that. And I'll be back. All right, we're back. We're still in that and that range of six percent we know this already measured out six so i'm gonna add it back to this other quarter fill this back up a little bit of water now i'm gonna let this go while I'm driving truck, I'll be gone for about three weeks. All right. So I'm gonna let this percolate and do its thing for about three weeks or so. And then I'm gonna come back and check on it. Make sure it ain't getting no mold, getting funky anything else but y'all that's literally how fast it takes to do these I did two quarts to start out now I'm gonna move y'all around a tad bit sorry So when somebody tells you that it's just too time consuming to ferment their own hot sauce because you know they ain't got time, you can tell them you saw Mr. John do it in less than five minutes. And as I told you before, and I'll tell you again, be good, be safe, and I'll see you when I see you.